Welcome! I've been waiting to do this video since probably around just after Christmas really. Got three records that I'm going to show you from three different artists and from three different websites as well but I wanted to show these particular three in a video together as they've all got something in common which from uh, the title of the video you can probably surmise what that is. So two that I've already got and listened to and we've got a mail opening that we'll do at the end. Right so first one I'm going to show you and I don't show many of these because it's a seven inch single. This was from Loma Vista, their web store. Loma Vista are a record label, a um, lot of alternative acts. One of my favourite bands who I really got into last year and I collected pretty much as much as I could from this band. They're on the Loma Vista label and I'm talking about Ghost with their brand new single Hunter's Moon. So I've put this in a 7 inch protector, I'll probably get this out temporarily as uh, there might be a bit of glare otherwise. So the brand new Ghost single. I've had this now for about a week, as of the date of me recording this video. Uh, this video actually going up, it's probably more like about two weeks. And this was a track that was from the 2021 movie Halloween Kills. Now then, at the time when this was available to pre-order, I thought, well why isn't this coming out to coincide with the movie? Uh, the soundtrack album, which this features on, and uh, it, obviously that's a various artists soundtrack album that came out around the same time as the film but for some reason this was I say delayed till January they didn't say it was delayed they just announced the release date as January something I think it's something to do with there being a shortage of vinyl um, I've heard that in the not the news but you know in kind of certain circles about how some record labels and artists are dominating vinyl pressing plants with their own needs and then lesser acts are kind of having to wait so perhaps that's a reason anyway hunter's moon this was the loma vista or ghost official web store exclusive and i'm going to show you why it's the exclusive uh, just get this out here and as you can see it's a lovely transparent orange halloween kills colored edition there so really nice that love it so you can only get this at uh, Loma Vista slash ghosts own merchandise store I know there was other editions that came out standard black 7 inch I think there's a white one and there may have been another one that's the thing with ghost they will release something and it will have the same tracks on it across the board but they'll bring out so many different colour versions of one thing. Speaking of Ghost, their new album, Impera, I think it's called. I think that's out in March. I've pre-ordered that. I will be doing a video on that, all being well. And I'm really excited to show you what particular edition of that I've pre-ordered. So look out for that, hopefully around March time, assuming there's no delays, of course. As for the tracks on here, it's seven inch single, just two tracks. <laughs> so they're both the same one. Hunter's Moon, Side A and Hunter's Moon Halloween Kills version, I think, on Side B. So the Halloween Kills version, um, I actually prefer that to the normal Side A version. It's more of a kind of bombastic, cinematic remix, which kind of makes sense, given that that would have been the version that features somewhere in the movie. I've not seen the movie. It's not something I'm particularly bothered about seeing, but I do collect Ghost on vinyl record. Orange edition, web exclusive, Hunter's Moon by Ghost. Right then, the next thing I'm going to show you is an album that I think has been one of the biggest releases in the music industry in quite some years, really. I didn't buy into the hype at first because I wasn't much of a fan of the band. I quite liked some of their stuff. It was like, oh, this is our first album in 40 years, I think it was. You know, obviously a lot of people of a certain age, you know, older than me, really, given that this band had been going really since the early 70s. Everyone was really excited. And um, I was like, oh, okay, that's cool, but I'm not particularly bothered about buying the album. I did, however, buy it for my mother on CD for Christmas. She said how good it was, but I don't particularly tend to take my mother's advice when it comes to album or music recommendations. A guy who I watch a lot of on YouTube in the vinyl community, and I entered his contest recently. You may have seen that video, Richard McCook. He's a big fan of this group, and he has done numerous videos just on this album because he loves it so much. And um, this was what I got from Amazon. I think I ordered it a couple of days or so after Christmas. It was out of stock. It was 
was a bit vague about when it was coming back in stock. I wanted this particular version. I could have got a different colour version or variant that was in stock elsewhere. But because I wasn't massively desperate for it, I was happy to wait however long. I thought, no, I'll keep this order at Amazon and uh, when it comes, it comes. And it did come uh, a few weeks ago. I'm talking about ABBA Voyage and Jason Clow is now swearing and grumbling and probably belching and farting at his computer screen, wriggling around there on his computer chair. Don't sniff it, Justin. <laughs> right, ABBA. Okay, I've never been a massive ABBA fan. That's kind of changed a bit now. I alluded to this in a recent record collecting video that there was two albums that I'd bought in early 2022 that have been just the two best things Things I've heard for ages. One was Liveax's version of The Sound of Music and the other one that I was referring to but I didn't mention by name was this. This is an excellent album. I don't care what Jason says, I don't care how uncool it may be. Richard McCook, he did a lot of ABBA Voyage related videos when this originally came out, kind of, what was it, October, November of last year. He's been raving over this non-stop really since then. And I thought, is he overhyping it? Turns out, Richard, I completely 100% agree with you, sir. What an absolutely brilliant album Voyage is. ABBA's first studio album in 40 years. Not a bad track on it. This is a gatefold edition. And it also comes with, I think, a postcard and poster. There's the poster. I won't bother unfolding it. It's nice, but it's nothing massively special. There's a little postcard as well. So there was a blue version of the album, blue vinyl record, uh, that was available at numerous online record shops and no doubt some bricks and mortar as well. I think there's a white version that might have been an exclusive to the ABBA site themselves, green I think. There's numerous CD variants of the cover and a few cassettes as well. They really went to town releasing specific collectible editions of ABBA Voyage. But the one I wanted, the Amazon version, as I say, I thought I'd wait for it, just see if and when it'd come back in stock. I'm gonna show you the disc now. You've gotta be able to guess what color it is. It is, of course, a lovely orange edition. So it's only available at Amazon, or only officially available at Amazon. Obviously, there'll be people who've got this and then trying to sell it on probably for a profit. I like the fact that, look at it this side, it kind of looks like a light, almost yellowy orange, but to uh, turn my head around, that's a really dark, bold orange there. God knows how this will look on camera. But I was so impressed with this album, like way more than I expected to be. Richard McCook, he had really sung the praises of this, but I knew he was an ABBA fan anyway. I think uh, he was blown away by this, and so was I, as someone who I always found ABBA a bit bubblegum, certainly more of a singles band, and by getting ABBA Voyage, it's really made me want to experience other ABBA albums. I know the majority of the singles, I think most people in the world do. Yeah, I've been hard on ABBA once or twice, calling them kind of frivolous and throwaway, but... On the other hand, I'm a self-confessed lover of European pop music, Europop, and who were the original purveyors of Europop, if not ABBA? My era is kind of like the more Euro dance of the 1990s and beyond, or even so. There's nothing to dislike here for me. Every track on here is strong, to say the least. I think my favourite track is the lead single off this, which was the first track on Side A, I Still Have Faith In You. Absolutely beautiful song that just amazing jason clo i think he's of that era because he's about 10 years older than me he looks about 30 years older does not suitable for mom but that's who i'm referring to by the way for those who don't know him and he's just got a real kind of aversion to anything abba and i think that's probably stemming from prejudices he's had since childhood he's probably heard them on the radio every day in his childhood in the 70s and he's you know not kind of reappraised them in more adult years but um, a reappraisal was certainly due as far as i'm concerned but i just wanted to experience this album for myself i've not listened to my mum's copy i just gave her the cd on christmas day and it is phenomenal abbott voyage one of the best albums in my entire collection and thanks to this don't be surprised if you do see more abba on this channel yes jason it's gonna come sooner rather than later 
Okay, so confession time. I'm actually reshooting this section of the video because um, I had a bit of an accident with my phone earlier on and uh, it decided to stop recording halfway through. It might have been halfway, I'm not sure. So uh, what would have been a mail opening is now just me showing you the record, but that's fine. It's uh, not going to differ wildly. You just won't see me using my yellow knife. That's about all there is, really. But uh, the third album that I'm going to show you, well, the third record, I should say, the second album is the first record I showed you was a single and you know what the common theme for all these is now but this is one that i've been waiting for since early january it's come from australia so those of you who buy records or indeed anything really from australia here to the uk will know about the delays that take place if you've got patience then it's fine and this album it was as cheap as i'd ever seen it on discogs marketplace it was about 98 99 Australian dollars which translates to about just over 50 pound but that does include postage as well all the way from down and there so I can't really complain and um, I'm talking about interlude by Saint Etienne it's another Saint Etienne compilation I've got so many of these sort of rarities albums and compilations by Saint Etienne now I'm losing track of what tracks are on what album but I've done plenty of videos on Saint Etienne since a couple of years ago almost I think. Um, a band I really started collecting more of in 2020. British synth pop, female led, they've got a lot of kind of this 1950s and 60s influence in the music as well. Real kind of evocative lyrics. This was a American release on Sub Pop which was the alternative label where Nirvana and I think one or two other quite big alternative, you know, grunge acts got their start in the late 80s, early 90s. Obviously, this is nothing like Nirvana or grunge. It's completely different, but um, still released on that label. Really nice condition copy, this. Really happy. Whoever owned this previously has really looked after it. The sleeve, and it came in a protective sleeve as well that looked all right quality, but I may swap it out for one of mine. But let's give you a quick butchers at the disc itself and unsurprisingly just like abba voyage and just like hunter's moon by ghost i suppose it is a nice almost translucent orange that seems darker as i cock my head than uh, when i hold it in front of me like that so lovely stuff there unusually for an album that i've bought recently the text on it's pretty big so i can actually read what the tracks are on this album doesn't seem anything that I'm familiar with, but there may be stuff that's been doubled up on other compilations. Like I say, my Saint Etienne collection now has got so big and so varied with uh, me trying to pick up all like the fan club releases and things like that. You know, I'm just kind of getting anything available by Saint Etienne on LP that um, may not already be in the collection. There is still stuff by Saint Etienne that's long deleted and is just stupid money on the aftermarket one or two greatest hits compilations and um, maybe a film soundtrack or two that um, I would like to add to the collection but it's a case of just waiting it out and trying to see if a bargain ever crops up or a relative bargain. £50 even including international delivery is more than what I like to pay for a record generally but I'm a Saint Etienne collector. Quite unusual to have orange vinyl from this period because this was originally out I think around the mid to late 90s possibly 96 don't quote me on that so to get a colored record at this point is quite unusual and it's been kept in marvelous condition as well so that was a look at three records this is sort of take two or take two of half the video but um three orange colored records all look fantastic more importantly certainly i can vouch for ghost sounding brilliant hunter's moon fantastic single and I'm looking forward to the upcoming album in March. ABBA Voyage, well, just go and listen to it for yourself. It's going to be on all the streaming services and everything, so uh, don't just take my word for it, but just go and listen to what a great, great pop album that actually is. And, uh, of course, although I've not heard anything, or maybe very little on here, Interlude by Saint Etienne, an American import rarities compilation thing, then uh, I'm a big Saint Etienne fan, so I know that's going to be great. Thank you all for watching. I do hope you enjoyed this look at three orange records, and I want to say special thanks, as I always do, to my wonderful subscribers and generous patrons. Please see my Patreon link and my Facebook group link, where you can discuss all matters music, 
collecting records, CDs, tapes, 8-track cartridges, wire recordings, gramophones, whatever you want. Just discuss it all with me on social media or my social media handles you can see on screen right now. I'm going to go now and, well, although I'm definitely going to listen to ABBA Voyage again soon as it's just an album you want to hear a lot of. It's that good. And uh, Ghost, well, singles, I don't tend to play them sort of over and over unless the ones that aren't out on a particular album. But um, got to listen to Saint Etienne interlude first. And I do hope that all of you will join me again for my next coloured record and record collecting video. Cheers, everyone. See ya!